Hello, my name is Ultra, and thank you guys so much for watching my redirect reaction. Uh, down below, there be there will be a link to my daily motion, uh, and there is the full reaction if you want to see it. It's down in the description below again. Um, I really enjoyed this episode. So the first part was more on uh, my prediction, which is uh, saying all uh, or uh, rather heinous coming in, ha coming back, or Meteora coming back. And uh, her kind of, I I mean I didn't predict it, but you know she started to turn into more of like the uh, you know uh, like the Muni uh, monster hybrid, but more on the monster because you know she I think that's a you know uh, strong trait uh, of the gene, um, and I think that it's so interesting to see her come in and kind of like lose her mind because you know she she met up with the true Saint Olga which is a robot and I was like what that that's that was kind of a thrill for me but you know it was an interesting one definitely um, and uh, it was so good to see her back but also kind of sad because you know she finally you know she finally found out that you know she is part of the the royal family. I mean, you know, she she kind of figured it out, sort of like based on her reaction. She was like, "I knew it," because like she found the the temple and all that. Uh, we remember that. Um, and also she she ripped out the the um, heart of the um, heart of the henchman, the main henchman. Um, and he was like, "Well, if you wanted my heart, you could, you know, it was a throwaway, but also kind of." really saddening but you know because we know that you know he has been loyal for this amount of time x amount of time and you know she, he's been there with her since like day one or whatever and um i really enjoy the fact that you know they, they're bringing uh you know this in but uh the thing about it is i think you know there is sort of a formula with star because like when once once uh like a big kind of plot related uh, episode comes in like it's like kind of mind blowing it kind of takes us off and I think it really works in uh, this time around because um, it was so mind blowing I'm like wow because like the way and you have to see my reaction like the way um, she kind of came into the the school and everything and kind of like owned everyone like pwned everyone like she was so savage and like it was to a point where I was like wow that that happened in a kids show like you know that was I don't really want to spoil it but like you know she, she had something where I was just like no man that is just wow and for those who, who has watched my full reaction or watched the episode itself you know what I'm talking about, and um, the second episode is is more on the like you know to bring us back uh, down or whatever from that whole crazy episode ordeal, but it also is kind of crazy and you know it's it, it kind of canonizes something that the fan base has been you know clamoring for, but. It also makes sense in a narrative standpoint because you know there has been no sort of real discussion or talks about what had happened in the previous episodes where a star or rather the first few episodes where star confessed that she had a crush on Marco and Marco never talked about it. Uh, so when uh, you know when it all happened like when all the things happened and she got back together with Tom and everything that wasn't really like I mean like that wasn't really pertained to Marco but also I think she wanted to suppress like it's definitely subconscious it's not you know a, a conscious decision um, but you know she she's with Tom now and that kind of you know messes things up as well with her and so because like now she's kind of like you know that kind of makes it kind of more awkward in a way and I you know I thought you know Marco and uh, Kelly was a good combination and also you know he he kind of saw that like he's just like oh, sh you know I don't I don't know what to say 
but I mean, you know, we, I as a viewer, and I think all of us knew what he was talking about when he was like, I, I need to do what feels right to me, and like I knew he was gonna kiss her because I'm like, no guy says that and not make a move. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just like, that's just the way it is. Like you know, I. I know this type of situation and it, it is very very much like impossible to, to get out of and you know and if you are caught between a rock and a hard place you you have to go with your your gut feeling and the gut feeling that Marco had was obviously you know he still has feelings for her and you know when he kissed her that's why the the guy let her left them out you know, uh, but it's definitely gonna cause more of a rift between them. I don't know how how much is it gonna cause a rift between them, but is is definitely gonna be a rift between them. Um, no matter how they wanna spin that, I think you know it's gonna be a point where they have to go head on and say, okay, like you know whatever ha whatever is happening is not natural. Like I mean, it's it's kind of that uh, how we met your mother thing, where it's like you know exes can't hang out with each other I feel the same way with ex crushes like I mean like if you have a like a, a crush or like a, like a first love with someone you you can't hang around them it's just like god damn it I'm falling back a little like that, that's just my opinion though like I mean I I I have been in one situation like I've never been in love at, at, at any other point in time so I don't know um, but I can definitely relate you know so um, yeah I definitely enjoyed this episode more than I mean the past episode wasn't that bad but I, I just really really enjoyed this one because there was so much for me to think about and so much for me to talk about and that caused me to go over my six minute um usual you know standpoint so if you guys really want to watch my full reaction please go to my daily motion and and go there and watch the full reaction um take note that i i kind of had to stop because someone just barged into my room so um it's not my room per se but you know you know what i'm saying anyway thank you guys so much for watching and still being subscribed to me i'm so thankful for you guys who, who are still supporting me on youtube please continue to support me on youtube i will be doing more stuff on youtube don't worry about that because i'm just trying to catch up on everything so thank you guys again and i will see you guys in the next video please remember to like this video if you liked it share it share the redirect whatever you want to do Go ahead, like, bring the bell, you know, subscribe to me. Please stay subscribed again. And I will see you guys in the next video.